Good morning. We are everybody. live. Hey, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Alyssa's in the house. Sandy's in the house. Mike's in the house. Ray J's in the house. Ma Ray J, I don't know if I can stay all the way from tomorrow. Maybe. How many hours is that? I have to think about that. Mar's in the house. Good morning, Mar. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you guys are here. Good morning. I'm kind of excited about this one. So we have access to thrift store stuff more than the average bear. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and we've said, hey, my mom's in the house. Hey, Christine Machado, new subscriber. Uh, Welcome to I the Christine. channel. So glad you're here, Christine. <laughs> um, so we have access to more thrift store stuff than the average bear. I don't even claim to like thrift stores, but <laughs> we we might have access to one. Magic of the Mouse, I just saw your note. <laughs> Magic of the Mouse. Hi. So he was ready to come in our stream and mm -hmm. apparently fell asleep, which oh. <laughs> is okay with me. You know, I mean, if I, what is that called when you take you it to go to sleep? Ambien? Is it Ambien that you people take to go to sleep? Oh, I think so. I just saw the message yeah. a couple minutes ago. Um, no problem, Ray J. You stay as long as you want. Alyssa, what's going on? So we, so the only reason I've ever liked to go into thrift stores is baseball collectibles. I collect baseball cards and I even used to still kind of collect bobbleheads once upon an adventure what's going on did i see mel's in the house welcome in hello hello and then now more than that even disney things so i'll collect old sports things christmas ornaments he collects everything i don't i don't i've cut it back a lot <laughs> he's, cut back. he's cut back on his I think issue. I have. I think I have. <laughs> um, to admit there's a problem but but having a thrift store things come into our life more than we really want yeah, Does, like we don't have to go to the thrift store because we work there every day and it one, comes to us. <laughs> we used to drive to, like if, wherever we drove to town or whatever, it seemed to me like we would hit a Goodwill because you were obsessed with them. This is six, seven, eight years ago. Right. Long. Well, I went because we had four kids yes. and I got all of their we clothing still do have four from kids, there. That's true. Well, it was close. Kids That's that fair. were growing. And but you also like to buy for other people's mm -hmm. kids. I do. You buy clothes mm -hmm. for people's kids who have not even met their parents. It's kind of mm, weird. Probably. You know people, whatever. It is what it is. Um, oh, a Dole Whip dad bobblehead. Could I? Oh, I just Good want morning, Dole Whip. Dean. Hey, Dean, what's going on, buddy? So, so. Well, also, I shopped at various thrift stores and found like Jimbery clothes or back then the brand name kids clothes, whether they were my kid sizes or not. And I bought them. Yeah. I sold them on eBay. You did so then I could one. buy my kids clothes that I wanted. This to is buy back in them. California now, right? Right. So this I is liked, over a decade ago. Yeah. Started. Yeah. Like my kids were little, little, and I like to dress them all alike. Yeah. Well, that's expensive. And yeah. That's how I could do it. I would just flip clothing, <laughs> buy buy clothes, sell them, and when I had you, enough for the outfit, we'd go. You see, Mars laundry. I think that that's the alarm clock, isn't it? Yeah, we're. Oh. She said we're. <laughs> we're her really alarm. Mark, thank you. You make my day when you say that. <laughs> so, so yeah, she wise entrepreneur, right? So I totally agree, Mark. So you kind of were the first person to kind of put it in my head that it's not just something that people say. You can actually flip things. Oh yeah. You yeah. did it before I it did was. It. Yeah. I flipped for my kids' clothes so they could be the cutest little people on the block. Was it Jimbery? Jimbery. Well, I was friends with some of the ladies at the Jimbery outlet. So they that. would call me when they knew that a good sale was coming. I remember that. And so it I was a Jimbery outlet store less than ten miles from my house, right? Right. At the time, yeah. Right, the Morongo area. So <coughs> I would go, and they would have two dollar racks. I could grab things and easily flip them. For yeah. When, when we had, so we we adopted our first two kids, and they were always dressed. Uh, alike. Disney. Yeah. They were Disney though. They Brittany had to have Disney store. Well, I I just remember other mostly moms complimenting you on the kids' clothing all the time. And I remember thinking, we got it on that rack because I stood there while she's doing it, or you got it at Goodwill. So anyway, the whole story about going to Goodwill a lot was that's what I because I, I would say in the car more than half the time. Just ugh. But yeah, he he didn't. And that's like not it. my not my not my jam. He would be like, I need a shower. Uh huh. And I well, I probably do in general. But anyway, so but now that we have so if if you're new to us, thank you for being here. But I, I feel like I repeat this a lot. Hey, Lynn, Lynn, Hi. just wanting to remind everybody that she's at Disney. We're not. What the heck? Can we just take a oh, moment to acknowledge how amazing? Oh, we're jealous. My name's Jeff, but thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that so much. Oh, thank you. It's called the curling iron. Not that amazing. I thought, oh, I thought it was a type. She was talking about your hair. Yeah, most likely. Like Yours your is pretty good too. I mean, it's better than everybody else's hair. It's nice and silver. It's pretty. You have to make me feel old. No, it's just that's a good color for an for eight. you. 
for an ape for a, a gorilla. gorilla. So anyway, so we run a nonprofit. We have a um, resale shop that provides most of the funding for what we do. It's an after-school program, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes the staff will say, hey, Jeff slash Paul are going to want this. Yeah, they'll see something and they'll they'll actually text me, hey, I put this out, but you might want to buy it and then send me a picture of it if I'm not on site. Because the stuff we like doesn't sell in our it, store, it's not. It's, which is awesome. It's, it's just different. Which, is, but, but, but all my staff think I want all the bobbleheads, though. Yes. So if, if you're watching, which I know they're not. I don't want all the bobbleheads. I want the Dodger bobbleheads and the Cowboy bobbleheads. Yeah. The Rangers and a few times bobbleheads. They put out like Disney ears. I'm like, what yeah, yeah. are you guys yeah. doing? <laughs> Every now and then. put a dollar on it. I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. Our prices are <laughs> and insanely like, low. Well, they don't sell. I'm like, yes, they do. I will buy it. <laughs> so this one didn't come to me. This one came to her. And I'm going to let you dive into this, but let me start off. So I like to try to make. I'm not a good photographer. I'm a wannabe good photographer. And I took some shots of these because these look cool. So can I show these to give yeah, it away? Sure. So I posted on my Instagram, Dole Whipped Dad on Instagram, if you're interested, a picture of this. He's so cute. And and my mom, I think, who might be in the chat, said, Dumbo, not Dumbo. No, can you tell me who that is? And then this. He's friends with this guy. One of my favorite all-time movies. This is the kind of stuff you don't see every day. And I just thought it looked cool, and I did the portrait mode, right? So it was all, like, kind of a cool background. Can anybody tell me who these characters are and what this is? And then I'll let Paula take over. These are pretty cool. I know, right? The, what is that? Jeopardy movie? Is that Jeopardy? I think it's Jeopardy. I don't know. Yeah, it's got to be. I just know people Yeah, the end. An it's the end. All right, so I'm going to shut up while she tells you. Hopefully, you guys have figured out what this is. Jungle Book, right, Mar? And they're, what, they're molds, right? Yes, those are molds. So, um... We had a huge kit of random stuff, Jungle and book, yeah. in it was this that explains. Here, I'll hold it while you talk. Okay, so I guess it is. After I researched it, it was a mail order um, Disney Cakes and Sweets Club where you would get something. I guess something once a week, but it came at once a month. So really, four items a month, and it's just mailed to your house with like little how to do things. So, Which I told you I would look up and see if we still could, but I haven't yet. Sorry about that. I looked it up, and it doesn't look like the the money when I was looking up um, how to pay for it. It's not it doesn't look like it's an American money. There's something yeah, it was, weird. Uh, it's I don't, European, it's I old, so I don't know. It's not American money. So hey Spencer, these, um, hey just another dis nerd. These are most likely, <laughs> I would say, that. like chocolate molds or fondant molds. Yeah, for cakes. And um, stuff, right? for cakes and things like that. Also, I would use it for clay and make Christmas ornaments. I mean, I would, I have all kinds of weird little things I would use these for. So this whole collection came in, what, in a basket or something? No, it was just in a big pile. I threw it in the basket. So I'm going to show you. Oh, There's a whole bunch of It is in a basket, but that's my basket? Well. And it's my all. basket. Got it. But it came in a what? It just came it's all together. Pile. Yeah, it was just a pile. Someone just um, basically brought a plastic tub and wanted the tub back. Can I show this? Yeah, sure. So we have a Winnie the Pooh, and that's a cake mold. Does he have a goatee? Mm, yes, he does now because you're. You see how cool that is? Look, I get all high pitched when I'm excited. Yeah. See how cool this is. <laughs> and with that, um, I love it. The mold to make the honey pot cake. There you go. <laughs> oh. So. <clears throat> I always sound like Nathan Lane and. Um, we can do a cake the with this, but I, I would excited. also push Rice Krispie treats in there, or Jello. It could be a Jello mold too. They're they're all made to be hot or cold, and you can freeze them too, so you can make an ice cream cake. It said this is so fun. What goes in here? That can be a beehive cake. A beehive cake? Uh huh. I don't want. Or you can make beehive Jello. I don't think it would be cake. firm enough to hold. That would be a jello. lot of Jello. Yeah. Um, let me see what other. Okay, and then if you want a little piglet to go with your. Who does not want a little cake, piglet? We have well, I don't. One. I don't like calling cake poop. I know Gigi was having issues with that. Gigi is so cute. Yeah, that's she all. She was like poop cake. We should have had her. Goes in the show. toilet, and I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm with her on that. You have to make stuff with those and post pics. I am anti-making stuff. I'm more about the eating than the making. So here's another I mold. I bet um, she'll make I would think it's for Rice Krispie Treats. I don't even make coffee. 
Maybe chocolate. Those are so cool here. I'll hold it. I'm, I'm sorry. Sure. I keep telling you I'll hold it and then I get excited. And then we have these fun, smaller right? little guys. They actually have a picture of a cake that they made with these. They had just um, pushed fondant into the little guys or chocolate and then painted them and put them on the side of cakes. Like How fun is that? Cakes, all the little characters. They're even cool from the other side. I am not a good presenter. I think that's, oh, and then if you make cupcakes. Maybe on Monday. There's the cupcake wrappers. So I mean, they're just make, cute. Yeah, we could make cupcakes and then stick one of those little guys on top after you make it. I think that's all the Can you do. make bacon stickers? Uh, no, that would be not nice. I hate it when you say no. I don't know what this is, but I, she told you, but it's fun. There's a smaller poo mold, too. Smaller poo. And then we These have jokes are just writing themselves, right? A few toys. I don't even like potty humor. <laughs> a toy story thing. So that's a cookie cutter with the press that's in it. So you can put the little sugar cookies and pan them. To the cookie jar. And the, oh, I'm sorry. That was, and then you know. we have two molds. You call it poo and mold. Can we do better? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a good morning. So you can make little chocolates. These are sweet. See what I did there? These are yes. Sweet. And then we have a little cupcake mold here. You're going too fast. Well, they don't want to see it forever. Just, they, do you want to see it forever? Yes, they boring. said yes. So we have mouse head cupcake molds, and we can put mice on top upper. of them. We'll hold it. I want to be the holder. You're upper. being the hiding behind this stuff. I'm having fun. You should shop with him. It's really I love fun. hiding. He hides. She gets mad like when he I'm hiding behind, behind the plastic behind. flakes and stuff. No, he They're hides there. behind like it's a four for inch pole. It's for me. It's there. It's like perfect. Like no one can see him. Give me paintballs or dodgeballs, one of the two. Nope, yeah. you break your ankle. Here you go. You okay, and then we have a mold of Donald. He's super cute. Somebody, somebody is doing a Donald voice right now, somewhere. In the world. Yeah. Oh, I missed a few months. I had two months. I'm way behind in chat, guys. I'll get caught up in chat here in a minute. So here's two monster cookie cutters and little mermaid molds. So this would be Boo's favorite. Cool. I think he's so cute. Um, sure. Nice with Hansky. Aren't these awesome? And Jeff is a true Vanna White. Mike, I've never loved you more. There you go. Those are uh, cupcake picks, so you can put little characters on your cupcakes. These like one time use? Yeah, those are. Then we have cars. Um, Great 80s cutters. band. Not that one. And. Still made Lanking. <laughs> oh, those are fun. Those that are baby Simba fun. and Pumba. And then this is so cute. It says this bag is not a toy. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep away from babies and small children. Don't put it over your face. Okay, and then we have the little Mickey letters. I would probably make content with those. Oh, yeah. They're like Disney font letters. Yeah. And then we have um, those are cool. some princess stuff. So this is to make a cake. Oh, I like these a lot. Around the cake. It's hard to see because it's not open. Back to me. It's got little Mickeys in there. Yes. All right, back to you. Okay. So this has like little princesses around the top. It's hard to little see. Little princesses around the top. It's hard it to see. It goes around a cake. Oh, yeah. And then. That's kind of fun. This is the powdered sugar. I've never uh, heard you make that noise before. Because <laughs> I was trying to. There you go. So you'll put that on top of the cake and sprinkle powdered sugar and lift it. And it leaves the cute little, I forget what it's called, thing. Cake stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then my space. I think I'm almost to the end here. I am, I'm running out of space. So these are super space. fun. It also came with two dish towels. Here, you can hold that up, Vanna. This is a blue one. You can't see it, but it has a Mickey right there. And one more. You can hold this one up. And this is the other one that came with it. It's kind of a green color, yeah. And that is our Disney haul for the resale shop. Is that enough? Hey, Dizzy Dan in the house. What's going on? All the way from a whole other continent. What's going on, buddy? 
Awesome. Now I get to put all this kind of cool, stuff right? While you talk. So yeah, I mean, I got <laughs> there's all the stuff. So that's kind of cool. I'm way behind in chat, so I'm gonna scroll up and then I'm gonna scroll back because I feel like I'm a little bit rude and ignoring everybody. Let's see. I mean, maybe they're gonna say that stuff is stupid. Why are you guys telling me this? <laughs> like this is but, so boring. <laughs> but I love this stuff. I, you know, again, sometimes there's not a lot of perks for having a thrift store. There's a lot of dirt. A lot of I mean, I'm just talking about it makes me want to take a shower, to be honest. But these are my favorite too. And I just Those think really they're cool. Fun. And again, I post a picture on Instagram because I thought they looked cool. I just think they look cool. Um, just another Disney said that's so awesome. My flight. Oh, Magic of the Mouse going oh, to Walt Disney World. That's fun. right. You told me that. <coughs> I forgot. Um, uh, Lynn is either she's got to be there by now, right? I think she I popped think in she chat. Was there. But she's yeah. got to be there yeah. by now. I, her birthday is tomorrow, and she'll be down there for that. Love it. I, it's like show and tell. Yeah, but but cool stuff, right? I remember yeah. show and tell was boring because all the kids brought down stuff that I didn't care about. Um, but I brought baseball. Romper cards. room though had Romper like a show and tell like thing where the lady looked through the mirror she said and hi was to like, me. I see Jesse, yeah. I see, yeah. I was always she annoyed with all the names. Were, well, you know, your parents. I think your parents, like you're. They you, didn't call in and say, say my name. You think she didn't know the name Paula? No, I guess not because it was forever and she never called it. See, I think that's just perspective right there. I felt like she was going to say my name every dang time. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Moving on to chat. Mark says, I have an Elvis <laughs> friend who comes to Memphis from Belgium. Dang. Oh, wow. And uh, do they bring chocolate? He has me drive him around to thrift stores when he's here. That's so fun. we had, I think we've talked about this on the stream before. We had, mom might be in the chat still, um, exchange students when I was a kid. And they loved, um, I guess, thrift storing now that oh, you think. Really? But I can tell you, we had a Levi store in town. They went and bought Levi's and shipped them to Germany, which is near Belgium. Yeah. And geography talk, and they made bank. They, <laughs> side business. they made side bank hustle. buying Levi's for whatever and shipping them over to their friends in Germany. They made bank. That's funny. Yeah. They also went to Disney every time, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You found some cute stuff? Yeah, I thought so. I think this stuff's pretty neat. I, I don't know what she's going to make out of it, but um, it can go yeah. on my wall for all I care. I mean, those the two Jungle Book ones, I just think I think they look cool. I'm going to Festival of the Arts on Tuesday. Should be definitely dating. Woo! Doing a live. Oh, cool. So we're going to Festival of the Arts, Arts for the first time in like three weeks or four yeah. weeks or whatever. We'll be there on I can't wait. For Mama's birthday. Yeah, whole set was in a resale shop. It's new. Yes, it was yeah, new. Yeah, they didn't even use most of it. Even the I, stuff I that's not wrapped is clearly new. I don't know if you guys used. could tell. Yeah, but. someone got the subscription and didn't want to use it. Somebody bought it for somebody's <laughs> a gift, I'm sure. One of the man's junk is another man's treasure. Oh my gosh. We run a whole nonprofit off of that. Uh, Mike <laughs> says, I'm a true man of white. I will take it. <laughs> I have a false teeth ice mold. Oh, that's funny. Why does that make me want to brush my teeth? I love putting <laughs> them in someone's teeth. drinks. <laughs> Don't get a drink at his house. We uh, actually had false teeth donated a few times. See? That's come to the store because I was like, Veronica, we have to take apart this teddy bear and stick the teeth in the bear and sell it that way. So if we ever if like we it. ever opened up and told <laughs> people what really not. comes in there, people yeah. would stop shopping. Yeah. No, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot. Just, here, here's my advice because I love you. <laughs> we need to do a show on the, the strangest thing that comes probably in. Probably should week. and probably should but not. The problem is we'd have to touch it. Or you need to it. bring Lysol and you need to spray it directly into your mouth. <laughs> you need to have antibiotic stuff and you need to bathe in it before and after. <laughs> there's a, there's a, the, the, I, we need to have Samantha come tell the sneeze. Uncle Fred. Uncle Fred story. Yeah, you got. Mm -hmm. You really don't want to. Hey, Mickey Bunch, what's going on? Hey, Paula. Hey, Jeff. Just about to clock into work. She's been Hi. working like 18 days a week lately. Wow. You get some rest, my friend. Have a good day at work. I hope they don't work you too hard. Um, who else did I see? Did your wife leave anything in the store? Oh man. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. No. The store is huge and full. I don't know if it, it's overflowing. Full. There's always. This is our dream in the house. They go live 10 o'clock my time, 11 o'clock Eastern time, 40 minutes from now, usually talking about Disney pins. Sometimes they're in the Disney parks. I'm 99% sure they're talking Disney pins. I was actually going to email you last night about coming on our show. Be a good promo for your Saturday show and Disney pins, but I got tired and went to bed. But I'll <laughs> send you a note. Uh, love to have you on. Um, Jesse Gottlieb, what's going on? How are you? Festival of the Arts looks amazing, doesn't it? See, and that's the thing. Those two Jungle Book ones, I don't know why the Jungle Book ones look more artsy to me, but something about the color of them, I'm, I'm colorblind, so I, I fully admit that the colors that I like, 
a red green color. But the colors that I like are a little different than the average bears, but it was kind of a it's like a teal color. Well, I don't, I, I, there's like seven colors. I don't know when you when you get out of the red and the blues. I'm not really knowing like this. I don't know, it looks green to me. Uh, I guess yeah, blue. It's kind of blue green. It's a teal. I think it looks green. green. What's teal? Yeah, a mix of blue and green. Well, that's annoying. I'm I'm that's that's annoying. But anyway, <laughs> I just like how that looks. I really do. Um, but I'll show up. Citrus Swirl Family, which is one of my favorite names. Erica's inside. Hey, Erica. I didn't see Erica. Erica's there. She is. Erica in the house. So glad you're here. I really want to do that, but I don't. I think they're talking to each other. I'm doing good. Hey, Jesse, would love to be on Jeff. You know. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you a note. I'll send you a note today. It's because you're colorblind. You're colorblind. Oh, no, I am. You're right. Um, you're funny. You're funny. <laughs> so which one's your favorite? Because I've already admitted, but I do like the, the elephant. Line. Oh, the elephant. I, mm -hmm. When you see, I did. I thought Dumbo's not in there, but the elephant in my hand. He's so cute. Baloo. Oh, Baloo. I don't remember the baby elephant's name. Hey, Google, what's the elephant's name in the Jungle Book? Oh. I want to call it. According to Wikipedia, Cassie is a bull elephant that lives in the jungle. Do you want a little more context? What's the baby elephant's name in Jungle Book? Hey, Google, what's the... Hey, Google, stop interrupting me. Hey, Google, what's the baby elephant's name in the Jungle Book? Happy Jr. According to Wikipedia, Happy, Happy Jr. Jr., the oh. baby elephant who is the son of Happy and Winifred and is a good friend of Mowgli. Okay. Yeah. Happy Jr. He's so cute. And now, I like have, there was no too. Mowgli. Yeah, I was thinking Tantar from um, yeah. uh, Tarzan. Sure Francine Schneider in the house. What's going on, Francine? How are you today? The thrift store could be a whole series. So, Suspenser, we've, sure. we've talked about it. Like, at first, it was a joke. So we get really, really happy people coming in the store and they're funny. We also, oh, Hi. Dizzy Dan, Dizzy thank you for Dan. the next Dizzy thrift shop. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Dan, I appreciate that so much. Yeah, Dizzy Dan, great. Are you live tonight? I'm sure you are, right? I think you weren't, if I remember correctly, you were not going live. Dizzy Dan has one of my favorite weekly shows. And I'm not just saying this because he dropped a super chat, but thank you, buddy. But he has Dizzy Fiasco once a week on Saturdays. But I think, I think last week he was off. I hope I'm not misremembering. Pretty sure he'll be live tonight. Drop it in there if you are, buddy. Tell him what you're doing. I've been a guest on that show sometimes. Truly my first, yeah, my first live show on YouTube that I had. I, I started to schedule my life around. Was the thrift store one? No, it was Disney Dan's Disney Fiasco. Oh, oh, okay. I thought yeah. we were back on thrift store. But now we're back on thrift store. <laughs> anyway, get over to Disney Dan's channel. Great channel. He Okay, there he is. He, just, there he is go. live tonight. Live tonight. 8 o'clock Eastern time, 7 o'clock in Texas time. I don't have any idea what time there because he lives on some island where it's cold and they don't have football. Um, He's asking, oh, wait, Disney Dan, where's, oh, when's your next trip? Someone's looking for you. Asking me or Disney Dan? <laughs> Disney Dan. Yeah. Disney Dan. And he just posted about being a cast member he used to be and all that. No, you're the best buddy. But anyway, thank you for that. I really do appreciate that. But anyway, Spencer, I think, was the one that mentioned yes. a thrift store show. So we get really, really happy people, really awesome people. We have regulars. Um, Very probably, regulars. Yeah. Probably five to ten percent of our sales every day come from regulars. I bet. I don't know. I'd have to look at that. I don't want to lie about data. But along with those happy people come crazy angry people, and and those are the ones that we find. So there's a show. There's a channel on YouTube that I used to watch a lot. I haven't watched it in a long time. But it was a. It is a gas station, liquor store, convenience store out in the middle of I don't know where. And they've got video cameras everywhere, and they clip the video camera, clip the videos of idiots stealing and making videos of it. Well, we could do that. Absolutely. I we have cameras could, everywhere. We could. And they steal every day. Every day. Yeah. And then they are shocked that we know. know. It's a dollar, buddy. Okay. And that's the you thing. Ask it's nicely, stealing, we'll give it to you. How about something that? Something that's like 50 cents. It's not even like you don't have two quarters. <laughs> Tan says football. We have football. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. You have uh, some cool stuff. <laughs> hey, Chrissy's Corner, what's going on? So anyway, but not only that, not only the crazy, the awesome, and the crazy, but the stuff. Do you want to tell the story about Samantha? Do you guys want to no. hear the worst story? Like, we have probably a thousand, but th there's one that stands above. Do you agree? So, yeah. Uh, she's I mean, telling it's it. one Here that comes. we remember. So, okay. We right. were, it was in summertime. So Get comfortable. We're in this big metal storage area. We call it Space 4. It's our storage area. So, we put and, Christmas stuff in the fall or in the spring. You right. Know. And 
And we have these giant yard sales that come on the weekends and we just have to really put everything in there and then sort it later because we can't put it in the store. There's, it's just too much for us to take on. Well, yeah. So we have to go through it. So, um, a bunch of stuff had been left at the store (coughs) when we were gone. We just shoved it all in later that day. My daughter, Sam was going through it trying to get things separated and she picked up this box it was about <laughs> i'm backing day. away from her as she's telling and she the story picks it up and it's got like powdery <laughs> stuff just falling out of it and it's covered all over her chest she's breathing it in she's choking we go and she's like mom i don't know what this is but this is there's some nasty powder stuff here and when we open it it was uncle fred it was an urn someone donated their dead relative or his ashes uncle fred was I don't know. That's just what we've always called him. And she was, was she like ran out and she was like, Whoa! like sometimes you give your wife a joke and you put it on a T, but you also have to hit it. Uncle Fred was dead and in her mouth and nose head in her head. People. <laughs> Holy cow. If I were closer, I would be your first Erica. You wouldn't be the only one. So it really is like, I make fun of it because I make fun of everything, but it's pretty awesome. It's kind of a blessing. I really don't like thrift stores. Um, I do like data and I like profits and I like um, yeah income. We've had like a dog donated. We've had, oh, the box. We had a dog toes. donated. You can't move on that fast. We had okay, a dog. Okay, so this was, this was like. Mama really Mouse in the house, hey. Totally irritating to the staff and I. Like they had piled a ton of stuff on a Sunday afternoon on the, the sidewalk, like truckloads. So it's hot. It's summer. It's taking my staff <laughs> almost all morning. Dean says, I don't think I'd want get, to be donated <laughs> to get to the bottom of this pile of stuff at the very bottom. It's like a hundred degrees. There's a kennel. We thought it was empty. No, they had a dog in it and it had been in the heat all at all morning, which it was, it was a hundred. We get it out. It, it shouldn't have been alive. It was, yes, it was not okay. We but had to take okay. it to the vet. It does turn out good, though. It turned out, it was, yeah. It was okay Did one of our staff take it for a while? My, our staff took yeah. it till it was healthy. Then my daughter took it, and she home. I forgot it. about that. Yeah. Our other daughter, not the daughter who is still sneezing some Fred. No, the other daughter took it. and. Um, it is fun whenever Samantha's over and she's very spoiled sneezes. puppy now. <laughs> like when you guys say, bless you, we say, hey, Fred. Hey, Fred. Um, and then one time we had, uh, that was like, that's a crazy story. Tell us more. (laughs) We only stay. I mean, your show starts, your show starts at a half hour. The toes. We had all the toes. I I know this story. So I have pictures of it. I think it's on my Instagram. Um, so, so we have a couple locations. The resale shop is one and I have an office at the resale shop, but I try to never be there because okay so (laughs) these people had donated uh, it was boxes and boxes of um i think it was tablecloths yes there was all these tablecloths um like it was an event of some sort and we start going through them and big toads start falling out of them i like toads and veronica's like wow I'm sorting, but I am not touching those. I am what? not sorting toes. Which is crazy. She she she, she sorts everything. She deals with everything. But she doesn't like well, bugs or toads toads, are or totally, snakes. toads eat bugs. So I'm like, oh, they're so cute. And so I what go back this? in. I come in. Um, fall, just a few months ago. I don't know this one. And so I come back, and the box, the clear tub is there. Citrus and swirl. And there's like eight toads in the bottom, because they had just put the toads in as they're jumping. Mar, we could. So we just took them and they they took them around the back of the building where the water is. Citrus World so says, we had tons of toads to asks, do you have cameras set up? Yes. Like, did you see who did it? So we almost always see who did it. We <laughs> we have, go ahead. No, that I, one I, though, see, we did look. The person who what, backed the toad one? in, no. Oh, the dog. dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. person who backed in did oh. not have a license plate on the back. Oh. It was on purpose. That was a long time. It was like yeah. two years, three years ago. It was ago. a couple years ago. But no, Veronica went, went, trust me. <laughs> we were looking Bra- for <laughs> Practically perfect park hopping live in 30 minutes. Josh from PPP was on our show, Dizzy Pins Live, last night. He's a great guy. He goes live, as does Diz Our Dream. Two different channels, awesomeness with, oh, I just bit my, I bit right here. With the Lynn Project. Are you hungry? Copy, no, I just, because I'm talking, you know. Oh, talking so Copy hard. and Contemplation with Lynn. And the people of PPP, it's like a whole family. They're awesome. They go live, as does Diz Our Dream, also a whole family. 
and they go live. So at the same time, so it's dueling live streams, and I truly do have them both going on. They, uh, they do. Or I actually does. usually have three it's, at that time. I put those two up, and then I put Nick Nimmin on the back. It's like all these different sounds coming at once. I, I don't see. I, it. We're changing so much, but that drives me crazy. So as the dude who doesn't listen to what everybody's saying all the time, but all of you do, and yeah, by all of you, I mean every person on the planet but me. Everybody can listen to more one things at once. I just no, choose not to. They're all you cannot. It's like blah. It's like overload in the. I've brain. never heard them say blah once. No, anyway, that's what my brain does when I hear like three different sentences being said at the same time. I, it's just that's what my ears hear when you. Yeah. Anyway, um, Stevie Lee announced what's going on. Um, so the answer to the question is yes. We have video cameras. Hardly anything happens in there that we don't see. I mean, if yeah. you're like laying on the ground in the thing, we've got we've got a lot of cameras and we have a lot of feeds and it's usually funny. Yeah. It's usually it really is. So one lady. Okay, so funny. so this one lady, she she's like a heavier set woman. She's I'm a fan of been in the store for a while. She you came know. in and just like sweatpants and like Maybe. a long shirt over. She goes into the bathroom to try on clothes. Oh, oh I heard she that. She comes out and her booty is like huge. And it was way bigger than it was before because she stuffed all the clothes that she wanted in her underwear. We don't want them back. <laughs> and covered them with her big shirt and starts walking out. It was great. That day we had a, everything you can stuff in your pants is free sale because <laughs> we didn't like, want them back. Veronica, yeah, let's not even go for I that I think one. <laughs> we've joked about it. We're going to, I think we're going to say, feel free to steal, but you're going to be on our show. Yeah. And because we could, we could really make money on it. Like the, like there'd be people who would be mad because we'd be made funny of them being, because we would make fun of them. Because if you're new yeah. here, I make fun of funny things. And so if you're one of those funny things, I'll be making fun. I'll make fun of me. And if you're like, you know, overly sensitive, you're not going to like me. And if you're a freaking thief, you're not going to like me. And if you want to yell at my, oh man, you want to talk about the, that's the worst. How about I love, so people aren't allowed to yell at our staff. Yes, they are. Cause sometimes I'm in a bad mood. I'm in back in the room and I just need a break. And, and I don't know. I please like me anyway. I like bullying bullies. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? Is that true? Yes, you did. Do I like that? Yes, you do. I do. So when you're mean or a jerk to my friends and my staff, I kind like I, I kind of want to believe, and you tell me if this is true. I kind of like it when they staff come to me and say, This guy is a jerk, and we've given him twelve, 12 tries. Will you please come deal with it? Do I like that? Yes. Do I handle that effectively? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Because I like our staff. They work hard, man. They work hard. Okay, so they, they have think frogs about, them and stuff. Think about moving your house. Myers of the mouse knows. Yeah. Boxes <laughs> and do. boxes of moving and packing and moving furniture. You know, when you do that, it's miserable for two yeah, days. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Moving when things. you have to move. Our staff do that every single day. Every day. It Most of their every day. day. This is our dream. You're totally right. I don't even get it. <laughs> But they're amazing. I, I'm like, you couldn't pay me enough to do that every day. And we love them. And I am so thankful we have them. But wow. Mama Mouse with the new way of saying rock bottom prices. <laughs> yes. That's pretty good. We we do. We we should have a show. That's like, a great one. We really should. Yeah, like yesterday, our staff went and they were picking up preschool furniture, which it's that this type of preschool furniture is super heavy. It's all solid wood. Well, the lady didn't tell us it was up several flights of stairs. Yeah. So my poor oh, staff that's were every, like that's every, picking it every. up and carrying it down. And they came back and they're like, all right, let's do this. Dylan, I'm glad you're here. We're uh, For anybody who came late, Dylan and everyone else, we were talking about a pretty cool thrift store find. It was um, boy, probably 100 pieces. I don't even know, 80, 50 pieces. I don't know. Stuff, Disney stuff that we found in a thrifty store that I guess is like baking accessories. Baking accessories I don't know what I'm talking yeah. about, which sounds super boring. It's Disney's but we're cakes and freaking sweets. cool. And then we kind of, hey, Jennifer, what's going on? Thank you for all your Hi. comments yesterday, Jennifer. You put a big smile on my face. Thank you so much for that. I um Actually, Jennifer, I don't know if you're on Instagram, but I, I do sometimes a comment of the day. You were my comment of the day on Instagram, on my Instagram story. So check it out if you're on Instagram. This is what. Anyway, so we're talking about some Disney stuff that we found in a thrift store that's pretty amazing. And we got into Disney. Nope, we got into thrift store thrift stories store from the depth of 
stupidity. <laughs> it's uh, we could we could totally uh, we could do a pod. And actually, I am planning on doing a podcast for work. Unre nothing like my podcast that I'm doing here, because it's a nonprofit. And you know, I've been working on it really all of last year. I've been talking about doing it. So tis the season, but yeah, I don't know how much I want to make fun. I probably come on. It's me. I'm gonna make fun of people again. Mar says, if it hurts your feelings, you know, go. Sometimes on. it's a treasure hunt, though. So it totally is. Oh, it oh my is. gosh. And let me tell totally you, more. we have like a certain group of customers the stories who from want the dark to dig and hunt. Oh, so when yeah. we clean our store, I was just gonna say that. Oh my goodness, they're not happy. <laughs> that's so true. So that's so funny. So I take over the organization eight or nine years ago, whatever. It's almost been stories a decade from now. The dark side, your and, <laughs> yeah. So 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 the resale shop we and I inherited. It's a giant yard sale it, on well, one side. <laughs> it was it was really dirty. It was really dirty. And I don't know how to say this. So we get a new place, and one of the ideas was to clean it up. So there's a bunch of resale stores in town, right? You guys know what resale store is. Some are clean, some are dirty, some are junk stores, and some are nice and clean. So we bought a, a new place, and we moved it, and it's cleaner, and it's nicer. And I mean, it's, it's not, you know, Nordstrom's. No. It's still a thrift store. It's still pretty dirty, if you ask me. But um, preschool furniture. We had a bunch of preschool furniture yesterday. But anyway, so <laughs> we decide to really make it cleaner and mm -hmm. we get this new place and the prices stay the same the prices are based sorry for people who don't know economics 101 but here you go prices are based on supply and demand how much stuff we have how, right. and how fast we can get rid of it we get more stuff donated every week we can't raise our prices here's what would happen if we raise our prices the clothing would go over our head like we right. get so much stuff and it's a blessing so our prices are based on how fast it has to get out before we, we get overrun fast. with the stuff yeah. So if we have big things of furniture, our prices are insanely low, low because they're big mm -hmm. and we got more stuff coming in. So, but people think it's about different things. They think the pricing is about how bad they want it and how bad they think we want it. Now we just showed you, we, I'm not, I can't say we never get anything because we took home something. We bought and we buy it. We don't steal it from ourselves. Oh no, you know, our, our staff prices it for us. And we way before it. we see it. Yeah. And, if, and matter of fact, I get mad at them if I want it and then price it yet. Cause yeah. then they know I want it. And right. I, you know, so, but anyway, I don't want most of the, I, trust me. I don't want stuff, but anyway, Disney stuff though. It's different. Um, so, so when we price it, it's about, it has to go away. So we clean right. up the place. You know, we make the bathroom not smell. We, we, we mop once, Every we have a days. certain we... color of stickers that we price things with and every month it's a different color so we yes. have to take out the old color and clean up and organize the new ones when we do that it puts people out <laughs> because well, it's organized and they're mad and they honestly think that's where i told you all that to tell you this they think if we clean we raise the prices yeah they do it's really funny when it's clean they so complain we, I, my staff had to make me understand so when we put new so you get um shopping carts right and you put a shopping cart full of stuff just they random price it stuff and they stick it in a shopping cart to push it into space two which is where it which go on which shop. is the public place where you can shop which used to make me uh, Alyssa, yes all the time not all the time a couple times a month um it used to make me mad. I thought the staff were being lazy. This is years ago, right? I thought, and I thought, come on, guys, do your job. Take it out. Put If it's electronics, put it with the electronics. If it's, you know, whatever. And they had to explain to me, and it took me too long to learn, that the customers want to dig. It's a, uh, yes, they want to dig in those carts. And if you're trying to put it on the shelf, they actually grab it out of your hands before you're, you're doing it. So we're paying someone to basically do nothing because they can't get it on the shelves anyways. So what we do now is we have uh, some of our staff go through the shelves and take the stuff that's put in the wrong place. Cause sometimes a lot people will have it in their possession because they're afraid somebody else will get it and, and then, then they'll put it somewhere yeah. else. So you get like, you get like Fred's urn in the books and or they'll hide things away because they want to come back and get it later oh. that that's a uh, yeah so yeah so we let them shop out of the carts because that that kind of lets them do their treasure hunting dig and then at the end of the day before yes. we close exactly right. we take everything out of the carts and get them into the the spaces that they belong yeah we man, yeah last week we talked about work too but this one yeah. makes sense because <laughs> it was a, it was a purchase so it is eight yeah. no it's 9 40 here again if you didn't see the beginning of our show it's pretty cool um thrift store finds i do do a thrift store finds i try to do it once a month i, I look over there because i got a pile of stuff that i get disney stuff was it Alyssa asked somebody asked 
Do you get stuff from the parks? We do. Um, what are some of our best Disney things we've got at the parks? The most recent one was that popcorn bucket you saw. The staff yes. didn't even pull it because they just thought it was like a toy. It like, wouldn't be anything he wanted. Yeah, I got that off the floor. It was You're an right. an older Mickey it was popcorn a, bucket. It was a Christmas Mickey popcorn bucket yeah. from like 2017, I think. Yeah. Um, that yeah. was the most recent. And my favorite is when Disney ears come in. I was going to say you've got some real Disney ears there. A couple times. Um, not, it's not very often. Um, mostly no, but... cups and mugs and things like that. Um, we actually just had a Disney Cruise Cup come in uh, yesterday. It was a Disney Cruise Cup. I was like, oh, look. And Peyton's like, don't show dad. We don't need that. <laughs> March <laughs> in the mouth. I actually am. And it's because probably because of you. But uh, Mahomes, I'm a, I'm a Mahomes fan. I, I make money make fun of my homes because you're my buddy and that's what I do. But um I hate the Niners. Yeah. So. <laughs> so out of desperation you're going I don't them. like either of the teams. Oh. Okay. I like Mahomes. Although it Mahomes. drives me crazy when he looks one way and throws the other because it's gonna be a whole generation of kids doing that and that drives me crazy. But um <laughs> I am rooting for the Chiefs. I just don't want to admit it. I don't need nothing see that's right. I don't need nothing. I need D V C points and Dole Whip. That's what I need. And Bengal barbecue. Um, you guys have a I great love barbecue. Bengal barbecue. I know I'm hungry now too. Um, yeah. So anyway, so uh, I don't remember who asked that. I think it was Dylan, but um, it was thrift store finds. I do a thrift store find show once a month or so. We get all kinds of cool Disney stuff. Um, I have enough, but I want more. But I have. We have enough. to do tales from the thrift store. That's what we really have to do. Tales. To come up with a fun name for it. I feel like it should be on the. I don't know. Whatever. If it's Disney stuff, I'm cool with telling my friends if it's we'll probably do a little bit of that on the we could do it on the resale show i'm maybe. gonna have an after i'm sorry i'm gonna have a non-profit based podcast work. for work from work during work to promote work and well that'll probably be an aspect of it no I'll, I'll tell you guys all about that once we get that rolling i've i've done some stuff but i haven't <laughs> i'm not ready yet 16 days till spring training that's right i can't wait so that, and that, you know, that's kind of a good segue to my podcast. Breaking Bates is my podcast. Magic of the Mouse TV has a great podcast. I was just a guest on Magic of the Mouse TV. Definitely go check out their podcast. I'm on it. And I there's going to be a second, um, an episode two with me on it. I think, I don't know, I think I was episode 15. I wouldn't swear to that. But go check out, click on the buttons, go to their YouTube channel, subscribe to their YouTube channel, YouTube channel, check that out. But Breaking Bates is mine. And that's kind of where I put all things. I do talk Disney there, but I talk a lot of sports. I'm going to talk about everything. I've joked before, and I'll say it again. It's kind of like the Joe Rogan experience, but without Joe Rogan and without the experience. Um, but I just, it's stuff that I want to talk about. Okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I don't have a desire to to put it in a niche. I'm not, the goal of the podcast is not to build a Disney following or a sports following. Um, I want to talk about things I want to talk about. And I'm going to talk sports. I'm going to talk Disney. I'm going to talk things so if i see something funny in target i'm going to talk about it or or walmart or wherever it is um uh, mama wants to know if you opened the month old christmas present yet so that is that is that is something that i've there's a pile right here at the door of i'm pretty mail. sure i'm going to do it today i'm covering up your address to be it's right here it's it was like i didn't have to move it's close it's actually made it to the desk here so hey Who's the others, you on? The others are still out there a, on, in well, the pile. There's a little bit of a pile. Are you serious? There you have is. three piles? He has three piles of mail. I thought you had the one right over here. I have oh. a, I have one pile of mail. Okay. So I'm going to try to do it today. I, I'm going to do a video of it because like, I don't want to do it as a live stream because sometimes people don't want people to know what people send them. So that okay. was a horrible thing. Sometimes people send stuff anonymously and they don't want everyone to know. You know, so I'm going to do a video of it and then I'll cut out anything that says, um, I hear in the mouth. I love you. She's <laughs> all right. You know, whatever. Um, she likes to make lies up about me. Whatever. But, Citrus, not. <laughs> you do too. Citrus World family. I'm a flea market junkie. I love the hunt for the old Disney memorabilia. I found a Disney TV tray from the 70s. Oh, wow. That's cool. Wow. It was almost in perfect condition and is now hanging in my dining room. That's well, fun. That's very cool. I I like that stuff too. I um we've gotten some old books that were fun. Um like the kids Disney books, it's pretty much like the subscription like we had when we were kids, like in the 70s. So this came in to the store, and that's kind of cool. That's fun. And it's it is pretty neat because um This is in the 50 cent pile, by the way. Yeah. 
<laughs> the toys, the little toys are 50 cents because we have mounds of them. But it's really well, fun. we don't have mounds of this. Well, no, but it gets stuck in there. Yeah. And then we have to dig and be like, hey. So anyway, I mean, like, what am I going to do with that? I mean, honestly, um, probably take it. Your grandson, maybe someday. No, I was probably I'll probably get a YouTuber to autograph it the next time we go there. Oh yeah, that would be fun. We talked about it last time. That's what I talked to. You know, I told you. Yeah. I, yeah. Anyway, um, she's always calling me out. Whatever. <laughs> See, the key to having the wife calling you out all the time is if you ignore all of it, you don't he even know. It, it doesn't anyway, matter. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I totally lost my train of thought. But oh, the other Disney things that have come in the store. I, I've got a pretty cool plate, an old plate. I think I don't know, fifties or or sixties or seventies. Ugly. It's an Adventureland plate. What are you talking about? It's, it's awesome. It's not. I mean, you don't know what I'm talking it's about. Awesome, it's awesome, but it's ugly. It's not like we're gonna go. Ooh, let's put this on the wall. No, it's like orange and weird green colors. I don't know what color it is. Um, <laughs> We get Starbucks mugs now and then. Where I we don't keep those. I collect Starbucks mugs, but we're gonna do a Starbucks mug sale. Oh yeah, store. yeah. That's kind of cool. That's non Disney. We have stuff. a ton of Starbucks mugs. Yeah, I've got like fifteen yeah. or twenty in the, yeah. in the office. That's We've been going collecting to be a, them for a while to do like a, mm -hmm. a fun. Show. It, it, it's pretty cool, but um, the Disney stuff is it's not character warehouse and it's not um, what's the one that the staff get to go to the cast members get to go to? cast member connection by any means. But you know, if you're patient, and I'm not, cool stuff comes and that's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling she keeps you in line. No doubt. We should nominate her for Saint. He is not. She that is not a possibility. She keeps me in line. Is something that I am cool with everyone thinking. Yeah. There is no keeping him on any line. It's like I it's enjoy it. the Disney cues. I like fast passes. <laughs> Gonzo's in the house. Hey, Gonzo. Hey, what's hey, going Gonzo. on, buddy? How Good morning you? to you, my friend. Well, I got to go. Get, oh, Mike, you have a great afternoon or morning or whatever it is where you're at. Uh, glad you're here. The adventures of day. Gonzo. So yeah, so He's there you like go. Gonzos. Gonzos. I like to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so when Gonzos. I watch this stuff. Sorry, we were watching your uh, trivia show the, <laughs> the other trivia. day. The um, I told, I keep forgetting what I was gonna say. So I, sorry. I so but I am gonna do me. so back to back to Kelly's question or Mama's question or somebody from the Myers in the Mouse House question. I'm gonna pretty sure. Hey, six hand spice. Do a opening of mail video today. I've got a bunch of things that are in the hopper. Stop shaking. I see you shaking your hair over there. Spencer Moore. Oh, <laughs> Thank buddy. You. Thank you, man. Spencer, you're so you're, That's you're awesome. good. Thank you're a good you. Guy. Thank you. Appreciate the love. Super chat, Spencer Moore. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I've, I really do. I honestly have like seven or eight um, videos Piles. in my phone. No, videos, shh, videos <laughs> in my phone. And uh, today, I don't think we have anything to do. I was going to try to talk you into going to see 1917, actually. I have a housewarming party. Sick of your... For church. For a friend at church. Attitude. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't think of it. Don't you hate it when you're in the middle of it and you couldn't think of anything to say? Six and Spice in the house. Six and Spice knows how bad I am at mail. Six and Spice won something in like 2016 that I mailed in 2018 or something. Oh. So, I mean, that's... That's not a surprise. That's probably not even a... a mm -hmm. Exaggeration. Yeah. That was a hard word. <laughs> Jelly's Journeys announced what's going on. Jelly's Journeys. Awesome Adventureland. Well, thank you. Yeah. Somebody asked that earlier, and I, I remember put it in my head, and then it went away, and now it's back in my head. You you bought some cool backgrounds for people, including me before. Somebody asked about it. You want to tell people where you get the, uh, the backdrops? Oh, sure. Yeah. You just go on to Amazon to photography backgrounds. Um, not always do they come up as Disney. You kind of have to look for uh, parks. Uh, backdrop, background, um, sometimes a fantasy castle. If you're, and it'll come up as a Disney castle. <laughs> it was years. Like you says. have to use different names, probably because of licensing. I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, they're on. So I was doing a little Amazon demonstration for those. Who were. And I, we just recently got a Coco one too. Somewhere the in Coco. here. So they're Coco actually really affordable. Band. They're like twenty bucks. And you can get various sizes, five by seven, uh, six by eight, uh, ten by tens. They have all different sizes. Jennifer's calling you funny looking. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, they're fun. I um we we've done some um some cool stuff with the kiddos where we work. Oh yeah. That's where we, we use them. Yeah, we use them in program when we're doing a Chris, we do our, a different um, Disney themed dances, uh father daughter dance that one. Yes, we really do fun. a different theme every week and when you're doing hey, you want to 
when you want to theme it, it, this is a fast way to do it because it's hard to like make something every single week that's huge and covers a wall. So these, these backdrops, you just grab them, pop them up and uh, theme it that way. So there you go. So we got nine more minutes. So I really feel like I, we went off the rails a little bit, but I blame. We always do. <laughs> I blame. Off the rails with Dole Whip Dad. And, and to end the, the thrift store talk. He's obsessed with his ugly cat. I'm not obsessed with it. Well, why do you put it in every video? Where did this? I don't put it in every video. It sat here for, it's been here for a long time and nobody knew about it until like a week ago. It sat at the resale shop for a long it's time. It's ugly. Who would buy this? They didn't. It was. It, they had like three dollars on it, and someone wouldn't buy it. Six cents spice. It was not. So your it's fault. at our house now. Well, because it's a Jim Shore. I know. Like you can see the price tag on there. So the, that was an old. That one. was the resale shop price tag. What? What do you? That was an old price tag. They dropped it. They had dropped a, a lower one on him. Stop poking my cat. He's ugly. Shut up. So um. Anyway, why am I telling you this? Yeah, so this this Jim Shore thing sat, I don't know, what, how long do you think it was in the store? A couple months. And we don't keep things very long. Because if it's little, it's okay. I did. I mean, so, I mean, it took a while. So they, they yeah. So I'll give it away on my show. On my show? Yeah, yeah on my show. Yeah, because he sends things point. out so often. Who invited her? So, but Jim Shore is awesome, and Jim Shore is a Disney person, right? And I have I like Jim Shore Disney things. Yeah. So it's at, the problem really with this is it's heavy for male. Yeah. But the night That's that not I the problem though the problem is it's ugly. Mom Explorer in the house. What's going hey. on? From D yeah, I saw you in the chat. Uh, what night was it? I don't know. A couple nights ago when I was on D and G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Why do I get all high pitched like that? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here. That's right. <laughs> um, anyway, if you would stop interrupting me and making me forget what I was saying, I really did forget what I was saying. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, but I love Jim Shore, right? And so, oh, yeah. So, when I showed this the other night, before the show was over, I had a message. Oh, my gosh. Please, I want that. Please, I want that. Please, I want that. Yeah. I'm going to give it away at some point. I'm going to do a Jim Shore. I have a whole Disney artist thing. And I'm going to the citrus. Nope, I'm not going to the citrus. I saw Citrus Swirled Family, and I said I'm going to the citrus. I'm going to the Festival <laughs> of the Arts here shortly, and I'm planning on doing some Disney art shows on my channel, and I'll give it away. Fine, I'll ship it. So whoever wins, you'll actually. I mean, get that's it. right. Let's be real. Whose fault is it that we don't ship things in time? Yours. Yours. I we don't even have a mailbox at my house. How am I supposed to ship things? <laughs> Shh. So anyway, I hate it when people shush me, but it's funny when I do it. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Wasn't that a Disney movie, That Darn Cat? It might have been. Like, uh, I do like that one. That was, that? A, wasn't the that ugly... a Siamese cat? That darn cat? Maybe. They're Henri. Would you? She can't keep her hands off of it's the whiskers little whip. Stop touching. It. It's You're so crooked. Bad. The whiskers are all messed up. This is our dream. I'll be there. So my mom's birthday is February 18th. Happy birthday, my mom. And we'll be there that day. I don't know if that's the first day or the last. Well, I should look. Is that the first day? Doesn't matter. No, the we'll first day is the 17th. We'll be at Epcot on the 18th to celebrate the mom's birthday. That's what we I leave said. on the 21st. All righty. Ugly makes it more appealing. Right, Jennifer? And, and so this is the most appealing thing ever. Yeah, Dean Jones. And aside yeah, there you go. So the ugly dachshund. Remember the ugly dachshund? Yes. I love that one. He was not a dachshund. Same kind of. Dean Jones. That's the guy, right? Dean Jones? I don't know. I think it's Dean that Jones. That's a big dog. Anyway, have you guys met my cat? We need to name this cat. I was thinking about doing, and I'm ugly looking at. Ugly Fina. I feel like you're just talking right when I'm talking. Like, yeah. yeah, Ugly Fina. That's its name. Go ahead. I don't know what I was saying. Now you were yelling. At me. <laughs> Fifty is hard. No, it's not that. <laughs> so in chat, let's vote. Should she leave the whiskers alone? Yes. Yeah, stop touching the whiskers, You're right? All messed up. You're all messed up. Stop touching the whiskers. They're bent that way because she's jacked up. They're leave her ugly. alone. It's bad for her. They need to be straightened. I need tweezers and I need to straighten them. 
No, they go that way. That's on purpose. No, I don't it's the think artist. So. You don't think so? That's right. You know, the artist like, oh yeah, let's put two crooked whiskers on him. She lived through a our resale, resale shop. shop for months. That is an accomplishment. All right, mom's calling you ugly with a bunch of use. Rude, ugly. mom. <laughs> Call the cat Fred and burn, <laughs> and it. burn Ouch. it. There you go. <laughs> Ouch. Checkers. Oh yeah, checkers. checkers. Yeah. Checkers, the ugly sweater cat. What's going on? Like, like I've got a goatee. What is she? She's just drew. Is she slop? Is that no, it's their like when they, when they eat it and then they spit it back out? Is that what's going on right there? What's no. What's that called? It's just her little fluffy cat. Chest. It's called chest hair. Not yours. All right. <laughs> this is going all over the place. I don't understand what we're talking about. I feel like we need some food. I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for the super chats. Thank you to my mods. Thank you to my mom. Almost sounds like mods, so I threw that in there. Thanks, mom, for having a birthday and letting us go to Disney yes. for you and with you. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Checkers. I like Checkers, the name. Citrus World Family wins. Okay. I will be live. I think, Gonzo, are you still here? Are we doing Disney Friends? We used to have a show. I think we have a show. Disney Friends on Gonzo's channel. Probably... I don't know what's going on. He's moving, so I don't know what's going on. But probably that'll be tomorrow. And then call it hairball. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hairball. Yeah. Oh, Dizzard Dream too. Yep. There you go. Um, so Saturdays, this is the show. I'm going to try to get a bunch of videos. I'm either going to go to a movie with her or do a bunch of videos. Probably both. Hopefully both. Maybe at least one of the two. Yes, I will open some mail. If you want to send me mail, thank you. I make no promises on when I'll open it or when I'll send stuff right. back. Mm, but I love you. He's leaving himself um, out. I've never, even when I say I'll give stuff away, I never say buy one, ever, ever, ever. You can't, because then you would lie, so you I, can't do I that. try not to lie. Right, I know. So someday in the near future, I don't say that. this will happen. Uh, I send it out. Yeah. Survive a couple months, you're probably going to get your thing. Um, and then Sunday night, um, DizTube, um, it's going to be a lot of fun this week. It's going to be hilarious. Dislife of ours. Possible. Oh. Oh, I need that. Can you bend down and get that before it dies? No, it's right here. It's right here. It's just got unplugged. Um, <laughs> Brian, what's going on, buddy? Hi, Mike Polito. Family friendly Jeff. That's right. I like being called family friendly Jeff. Six um, Spice asked what movie? I want to go see 1917. Looks really, really good. I wanted to see it before it came out. I wanted to see it. Uh, it just hasn't worked out. We usually go to movies too, but um, but anyway, so this tube, eight o'clock my time, nine o'clock Eastern time tomorrow night. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, there's a chance. Well, I'll just, I'll leave it at that. And then an hour and a half after that, the show goes for an hour. I take a little half hour break and then creator talk, finishing up the 10 things you can do in 2020 on YouTube to crush it straight from Roberto Blake. I'm not stealing his stuff. I'm promoting his stuff. Um, I love what he did. And we're going to take number nine and number 10 Lynn is celebrating her birthday. And so she may or may not be there, but I'll handle it on my own or she'll be there. So two things tomorrow night, maybe three, if I'm on with Gonzo, I think I am, but He's been moving, so we're not really sure what's going on. Um, if you want Jeff to have a Christmas gift in 2020, mail it now. So listen, people, <laughs> all right? Listen, you Kansas City Chiefs fans. I will be sending out some Christmas things earlier than anybody else, like in February or March. It's, it's, it's the other pile over there. And so you guys think I'm late. I'm actually early. And by the way, thank you. For the first gift of Christmas 2020. <laughs> it's all how you package it, people. It's all how you package it. Dean, hey, can you stop kicking my table, please? Yes. Dean, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. 1970 is awesome. I saw it last week. I, I love well-made um, historical movies. I'm I'm looking for... I was going to say war movies, but that's not real. But historical movies. And uh, I can't wait. Um, Diz Our Dream is going live right now. There they are. Get over to their channel. Also, practically perfect park hopping is going live. Oh, coffee and contemplation. The notification. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Popped up right there. You might have heard the. Doo -doo -doo. Does our dream goes live talking Disney pins, coffee and contemplation, contemplates and drinks coffee. Um, and then Myers and the Mouse usually goes, I want to say about noon my time. So in like two hours, I hope that's right. They go live every Saturday. I'll be in all of those streams unless she lets me go to the movies, which I don't think she's going to because she's mean that way. Sorry about the cat. Thanks. Sorry about Fred, the checkers. guy. Checkers. Fred is the dead guy. Uh, Fred. Can you keep Sam up with Ted. our stories, please? Okay, sure. 
Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. I really do enjoy our Saturday mornings with you. See you tomorrow on Maybe Gonzo Show and my show and my show. Disney Dan was in chat earlier. He'll be on live tonight. Myers of the Mouse is on in about an hour. Noonish. There you go. Coffee and contemplation right now. This is our dream right now. You're in the parks in February. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see you. Probably hang out in Disney Springs and stuff too. Yeah, meet people. For sure. I think one of those days we're actually going to try to meet people. Anyway. Linda, thanks for being here. Magic the Mouse, thanks for being here. I promise I'm going to email you, buddy. Actually, that's what I need to work on. Everybody, I'm not going to go through the list. Thanks. Get over to those others right now. Again, this is our dream. Practically perfect park hopping. Myers and the Mouse about an hour after that. I'm going to stop talking now. Okay. Bye. Did you tell me to shut up? No. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Later.